Hey YouTube, I hope everyone's really excited because I am doing my answers video for all the questions you guys asked me. In case you didn't just see Russell sitting on my lap right now, um, he is feeling kind of sick. So if you hear him coughing or sneezing or anything, that's him. He's not feeling too good today. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into it and let's answer some questions. First question is, how do you straighten your hair while keeping all that volume? It really does add up to a lot of different things. It's the way that my hair is cut. It's the shampoo and conditioner I use. It's the products I use. It's a lot of things. It's not just how I straighten it that gives me all that volume. Um, I do use a volumizing shampoo. I do use a lot of hair products to keep my hair up this big. And the haircut that I have has a lot to do with it, which I know a lot of you ask a lot of questions about my haircut, so I'll get into that also. But as far as straightening alone, I do really try not to just straighten my hair down. I really try, and when I straighten it, I kind of pull the hair away from my head, and I never really touch the root of my hair that's mostly because my hair is naturally straight so I am just like straightening out any like natural waves that I have but for the most part my hair is straight so I don't have to go all the way to the root so I think that helps too and really just not pulling your hair down when you straighten more like pulling it out when you straighten I think that helps a lot the next question is what is your absolute favorite item of makeup if I had to pick just one I would have to say mascara um, only because I probably couldn't live without it um, and I just use the covergirl lash blast in the orange stick um, nothing too fancy but that is my absolute favorite of makeup if I could only pick one thing and only use one thing it would have to be that um, I think mascara just kind of lifts up your face and brightens up your eyes and just kind of makes your whole next thing. question what is your favorite song um, I think that's a hard one only because I think your music taste changes a lot especially when you find new bands and stuff that you like um, I've really been liking passion pit lately that's the band's name their name is passion pit I will put a little annotation or something in the bottom bar or something for you guys so you guys can check them out um, they are absolutely my favorite right now now, also this romantic tragedy sorry this romantic tragedy if I could speak today um, they also are really good they're a little bit more hardcore but that's just kind of the music that I listen to I don't really listen to like country or rap or anything that's just not really me um, so I will put both of their names in the bottom and if I can find like a link to their peer volume or something I'll put that down there for you guys as well Next question, what is my favorite store? Um, I think that one's pretty easy actually. My favorite store is Forever 21. I would say 90% of my wardrobe is from that store sadly. I really only shop there. Um, I shop occasionally at maybe like an Old Navy or Charlotte Russe or something like that. But majority of the pieces that I own are from that store. A lot of people will talk down about them and say that their clothes are cheap and they fall apart and things like that. But from my opinion, um, their clothes may be cheap but I don't want to wear one dress for the rest of my life, you know? I get out of things very quickly and I change my mind about how I want to look or what I want to wear. And I think it's better to just spend money on little things, things that you can throw away in a couple months or whatever when things train. I mean, fashion trends change so quickly. Why would you want like an $80 dress or something that you only can wear like once or twice? Like, I don't know. I just don't see the reasoning. Next question is the probably most popular question I got and that is what did I tell my hairdresser to get my hair cut the way it is? Um, I didn't really tell my hairdresser anything mostly because I don't have one hairdresser. Um, you guys a lot of you do know that I did work at a cosmetology school and another question that I got was about my new job um, and I have a new job and it's also at a cosmetology school so a lot of the times the students do cut my hair or maybe the educator or something but I don't really stick with one person in specific so my hair will change a lot. Um, as far as the haircut I have, um, if you wanted my haircut, something that you could tell your hairdresser is that you want a disconnected haircut because that's what mine is. It has a lot of really short layers up here in the top in the crown part and then down here is a lot longer. There isn't a lot of hair down here. The majority of my hair is short up here and that's why I have so much volume is because my hair just stacks on top of each other. Like people that have A-line haircuts where it's really short in the back and then comes dramatically forward, that's an A-line haircut. And if you notice in the back of their hair, it looks like their hair is stacked like a deck of cards or something that's what my hair has on the top and that's why I have so much volume so all of this up here is really short and that's what gives my hair the shape also you just need to tell your hairdresser that you want really heavy side sweat bangs because that's what I have as well and for the most part that's pretty much it I mean I have some framing around my face but that's it really so the next question is actually what is the job that I got um, a lot of you did know that I worked at a cosmetology school previously and I actually got a new job at another cosmetology school this one is called Aveda and a lot of you probably heard of that one before because it is is very large it's a very large company um, they have their institutes which I work at they have their academies they have salons they have stores like in your malls and stuff and they are a huge company um, if any of you have heard of them before you probably know that they are all natural and all green and all of that stuff which 
I actually love. I actually just started working there. I think I've, this is going to be my third week or so, and I love it. Um, it is a school. It is full of students and teachers and everything, and it has so far been a great experience, and I'm so excited to grow with them. Um, I absolutely love it, so... Hopefully everything goes well and I get to work there for a really long time. The next question is, how do you feel about e.l.f.? Um, if you've seen any of my recent videos, you know that I love it. Um, I have recently been completely using only e.l.f. I love everything that I have from them as of right now. Um, I think they're a great company. They offer really cheap cosmetics to people who don't want to spend a lot of money. I have the same kind of thing about MAC products. I think they're a little overpriced and you can get just as good quality other places. So that's why I don't really have a lot of MAC stuff because I just don't see the point in it. Um, it's too much hype for me and I just not really up for it. So a dollar and three dollar and five dollar products from e.l.f. 100% I will endorse them until the moon and back. Like I love that company. Next question is what do you use for skincare? Um, I've actually been pretty blessed with very good skin and so I've never really had a big issue with skincare. So I personally just use drugstore products. Um, I do want to try some of the Aveda stuff at my work but I haven't yet obviously since I haven't worked there that long. Um, so as far as what I'm using right now, I just use stuff from Walgreens. It's called Cetaphil. A lot of you have probably heard of it. It's very, very common. I use the face wash and the face lotion, and that's about it. Um, I really only wash my face in the morning. I find that if I wash my face at night as well, it kind of dries it out. I do take my makeup off and all that stuff, and I kind of use my eye makeup remover all over my face to make sure I get all my face makeup off too, but I don't really wash my face. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Like I said, I don't really have bad skin, so it's not really a big hassle for me. Look. Next question is what do you use for hair products? Um, I actually did a video about a month ago um, that was my complete wet to dry styling of my hair. Um, that showed a lot of products that I did use, and I do still have all of that products, but I am switching over to Aveda just because working at Aveda, they try and push you to use their products because they are so green and natural that they want to, you know, help other people become like that too and ultimately save more bottles and waste and things like that. So I actually did just switch over to Aveda products. I am using their um, volumizing shampoo right now and their hairspray um, and also a couple other little styling products. So far I like all of them. Um, I plan to hopefully do a more in-depth review for you guys and maybe get some more people to go try their products because although they can be a little bit more pricey than drugstore, they do work really well in your hair and right now I am loving them. So watch out for that guys. Next question is, do you ever plan on having kids? What age do you want to have kids and what would you name them? Um, I do want to have kids eventually. Um, not right now. I am only 19. I want to have kids maybe closer to 25 or so after me and my husband are done with school and everything. I get through school first. I really want to have a boy. Um, I would be okay with just one. Um, possibly two. It kind of depends. Um, if we have a girl, we picked out her name already. And if we have a boy, picked her name would be Olive and her middle name would be Anna. So her name would be Olive Anna. Um, I don't really want to tell you guys our last name just because that's a little too much. But um, but the boy's name is actually, it's a really uncommon name. I've actually never met anyone with this name. Um, and it, people are kind of shocked when I say it. But if we have a boy, we actually want to name him Utah, like the state, like Utah. And his middle name would be Parker, so it would be Utah Parker. Um, I know a lot of people are like, why would you want to name him Utah? Like, that's not even a good state anyways. But I think that would be, like, a kick-ass name for a kid. Like, he'd have to be so tough and, like awesome to like pull that name off so I think that would be a great name for a kid. Last and final question is actually my favorite question. It's from my BFF Marco on YouTube. I will actually put his um, YouTube username in the bottom bar. You guys should check him out. He makes like some of the most hilarious videos and I'm always cracking up. Um, and this question was from him and it made me laugh just like everything else he does and it says why haven't you been partnered yet? They really need to get on that. Um, <laughs> honestly I applied for partnership like three weeks ago and it still says that I'm awaiting um, an answer from them. I really didn't want to apply until I got to like at least a thousand subscribers which I'm still kind of far for that but my husband was like just do it what do you have to lose just do it just try just do it and it still says I'm awaiting from them and it says that on their um, YouTube um, partnership application it takes two to three business days no like more like two to three months like it is taking forever like I don't know if a bunch of people have just been applying for it lately or what but I'm so sick of waiting I would like an answer so YouTube if you're watching this could you please get back to me on that? That would be sweet. 
All right, guys, so I think that's all the questions. I tried to get through all of them and kind of condense them so there wouldn't be a lot of duplicates. So, like always, if you have any more, leave them down below for me, and I'll make sure to answer them for you. I also have a form spring in case you want to leave me an anonymous question and you don't feel comfortable. Also, I'll put my Tumblr down below, which I do update just, like, random things about my life on there because I don't have a Twitter. So, if you guys have a Tumblr, make sure to follow me on there and check out all the links and stuff I talked about in this video down below. And as always, please leave me some requests because I love doing the videos that you guys want to see, and I guess I We'll see you guys in my next video. All right, bye YouTube.